What's up guys, Sean here, and this is the Microtech SOCOM Elite Full Review. Um, instead of my long-winded intro, I'm just going to get straight into it this time. Um, let's do it. First category is ergonomics. The ergonomics on this knife are absolutely killer. Okay, perfect 5 out of 5. Uh, this knife feels really great in hand I love the thumb ramp they have right here and then they have kind of the reverse of the thumb ramp uh, at the back of the spine right here nice well spaced out not too aggressive jimping just the way I like it but your thumb feels really good place right there feels nice and natural and then you have this little finger groove right here I mean it just feels amazing in hand I love the textured pattern that they have on these inlays. This feels like some kind of plastic, uh, basically like a stippled polymer or something similar to uh, what you would feel on some handgun grips. And then um, if you want to do like a reverse grip in a tactical or self-defense roll, you have some nice well spaced out jimping on these awesome aluminum scales back here and they did a nice um, semi enclosed construction um, I'm getting off topic here but I mean after all this is a knife review so I'm telling you about this knife and yes okay for the ergos it feels amazing no hot spots feels like you have great leverage amazing um, I have a little bit of schmutz here on the blade some tape residue from the unboxing video that I just did uh, but that's all right so let's just keep rolling through the clip gets a three out of five um, the reason for this is because well there's a couple one being that it is tip down only I prefer tip up but that's not the end of the world but what is kind of a real pain in the ass with this is it gets caught up on the thumb stud when you're sliding it down into your pocket so you get about that deep and it doesn't want to slide down that last little bit unless you wrestle with it or use two hands so that's really just annoying and I also I like having a clip back here so I have something to hold and grip the knife when I'm flicking it. Um, I dig my fingers down into the clip oftentimes uh, to maintain control over the knife when I'm flicking it open and closing it. And that keeps my fingers out of the way of the blade path, etc, etc. So um, yeah, not a huge fan of the clip, but it does its job. For carry, I gave it a 4 out of 5. This thing does carry pretty well, but it takes up a decent amount of space in your pocket. So, um, not extremely easy to get your hand down into your pocket if this is residing inside of there. But, um, that being said, for the size of this knife and the capabilities that you're getting... I mean, it's basically like a pocket tank, and this thing is pretty damn lightweight. 5.2 um, ounces. And it's not a huge profile to it, so, I mean, it. I had to give it a decent score. I mean, 4 out of 5 isn't bad. It's not, it's not a Benchmade bug out, but it's not horrible. And I prefer larger knives, so... The fact that it is carryable without bothering me, getting uncomfortable, etc. I like that. For the action, perfect 5 out of 5. This is on bearings. I'm not 100% positive about all the internal mechanisms and construction of this. I'm not sure if they are ceramic or not. Because I've never had to disassemble this knife. This knife is built rock solid. Absolutely zero blade play in any direction. Probably one of the most solid knives that I would trust my life on. Um, 
more than anything else. Even compared to my hinders, I think this would give the hinders a run for their money, which uh, is it's just really impressive. This is an extremely strong knife. If you don't believe me, go watch the torture test videos that they do with these. And back not long after I started the channel, probably a good eight months ago, I did a video of me prying out staples with this bad boy and there was no damage. So a hell of a beast of a knife and back to the action, very smooth. Now it is a liner lock. So the lock bar is going to maintain pressure against the blade and you have to get past a certain point and then it becomes very drop shutty. But there is a spot right in here where the tension builds up, okay? Kind of like a secondary detent or a late secondary detent, but it's not a detent. It's just um, some tension right there, I guess, to keep you from lopping your fingers off. So I'm sure it serves somewhat of a purpose, but it is a tad bit annoying. Nonetheless, amazing thumb stud action. If you just line your thumb up with this groove right here and push straight forward, this blade fires out effortlessly. It flies out with authority. Um, and you can also middle finger flick this. It has a nice strong detent, but it's not too strong for this design. Uh, you have some massive thumb studs and the, the geometry of where they place the thumb stud gives you perfect leverage to overcome that detent. So it is a perfect example of a knife that you would want a nice strong detent on because it does not inhibit anything and it just makes that action really, really nice. Moving on for the hardware, I gave it a four out of five. Um, now we do have a nice beefy T15 pivot. I like that. We have some T8s which is right here which holds your liner lock assembly and your clip screws and then we have a bunch of t6s on this side so um, i wish they wouldn't have done so many t6s but like i've said in a lot of videos now it's not an issue if you get yourself quality torx drivers such as these weha soft touch torx drivers set you get the entire set of six of these, all the sizes you'll ever need. It's like 30 bucks. It's always linked in the video description, and I cannot recommend these enough. These will change your life. Definitely get you some of those if you do not have quality Torx drivers yet. For the aesthetic of this knife, that was an easy five out of five. Here is a stock configured Tanto uh, SOCOM Elite manual right here and guys look at that I mean the the blade grind on here all the angles and the swedge and just everything it just reminds me of a stealth fighter jet and then the handle back here with the inlays and the stippling and Everything it just reminds me of what you would see on a lot of modern firearms um, It is just bad ass through and through For the price it gets a perfect five out of five this knife comes in under three hundred dollars and You are getting every fucking penny of your money's worth with this knife now the only downfall is that they do not stay in stock very long it is somewhat difficult to acquire one of these but if you can and you get it for retail guys this is a killer deal you get premium blade steel 
you get premium handle material and this is 7075 aluminum I believe which is uh, it's not as common uh, when it comes to knives and stuff a lot of knife makers use the 6065 I believe and uh, I don't have time to pull up the exacts right the second but um, it's an upgraded stronger aluminum that is an aircraft grade Mil spec and it is used by the military for a lot of things so very strong and very lightweight so you're getting the best of both worlds right there um, and not only that but this is made in the USA right here in the good old US of A so on your blade I, I'm not a huge fan of the massive billboarding but yeah, I mean it's it's what Microtech does and it's you know it's just kind of their look and that's what I've chalked it up as and it doesn't really bother me too much if it was any other knife company I would not be so open to it but you know it's it's a Microtech it's what they do and they do it in a way that it doesn't really look too bad I mean it's kind of neat in a sense because you have all your info right here you have the date that it was produced this was in February of 2018 and you have your serial number up here so you can make sure that this is an authentic Microtech and not a Chinese clone and yeah so definitely worth every penny fit and finish gets a five out of five there is absolutely zero play um, even throughout all the use like I said I've never had to disassemble this because I have never desired over any um, improvement of the action or anything I mean this thing has been literally perfect since the day that I got it dead center everything uh, fits together very nicely um, it, it's a very impressive knife as far as the quality the fit and finish go for the acoustics it also gets a 5 out of 5 and if I could I would give this thing a 10 out of 5 because this is my favorite sounding knife out of all of them loud clank um, and it echoes through the aluminum construction uh, there's just nothing else like it it is one of a kind and you have to hear it in person to truly appreciate it for the lockup perfect five out of five we have a liner lock here and we have absolutely no lock stick lock bar access is excellent five out of five very easy to disengage you have some nice well spaced out not too aggressive jimping right here it is not difficult to press in uh, even easier on this one so yeah excellent job with the lock and it is a very solid lock up you're over 50 percent I mean that's not going anywhere so awesome to see that for the factory edge also gets a five out of five perfect example I'm so glad this happened to show up literally an hour ago and this is in for sharpening as you can see nice clean even edge bevels symmetrical from side to side and this one has been used and it is still sharp so yeah Microtech does put a pretty good factory edge on their knives and they usually are sharp so have to give them credit where credit is due for the blade easy five out of five beautiful stone wash finish on this beautiful blade grind and everything is symmetrical with a blade grind that is as complex as this a lot of times you will find that there is some inconsistencies from side to side but on these everything is perfectly symmetrical and beautiful 
Um, the blade shape is great. It's very useful. You basically have two tips. You have a ton of um, straight or belly area for slicing and then you have a nice robust tip for whatever the hell you want to do with it so their blade is just it's amazing all the way through and they use premium blade steel this one happens to be 204p this one right here is mine this is in m390 and they also make them in lmax and I believe I've seen some in CTS XHP. Um, those are a little bit more rare to come by. Usually it's M390, LMAX, and CTS 204P. So um, great blade steel. Uh, they're both stainless. They both have great edge retention. They both have good toughness. And they, they sharpen up reasonably easy as long as you have, uh, you know, good diamond stones diamond plates for the handle gets a five out of five very comfortable it's premium materials nice grip to it great feel extremely strong and it's very light so um, I mean all around just excellent for centering perfect five out of five these are all dead nut center I mean, you can't get any better than that. They are consistent. Um, every single uh, SOCOM Elite, every single SOCOM Elite that I have handled or seen has been perfectly centered. For the cutting performance, this also gets a five out of five. This thing cuts like a laser for how robust and massive this is. I mean, this is a, a big blade right here you get four inches of blade okay and you have a decent thick uh, a decently thick blade very robust strong durable you're not gonna snap this blade and it cuts it cuts and it will kill so I mean guys this is freaking great for materials perfect five out of five I've already gone over what the materials are and that should be kind of self-explanatory. For the fidget factor, this also gets a five out of five. This knife is extremely enjoyable to flick. It's enjoyable to close. The sounds are great. The only thing that I will say is be careful if you have a girlfriend or a spouse because they may become very irritated with you very quickly. Um, they might be asking for a divorce if you do not try to tame yourself uh, and fight that urge to keep flicking this knife because it is very loud. And for the design of this knife, also gets a perfect five out of five. This is a timeless design, guys. This knife has been in production for over 25 years now, and it is still held in regard as one of the most badass folding knives ever to be made. Um, you know, there's still, there's modern knives that have new, newer mechanisms, newer designs and stuff that have came out many, many since this has. And I mean, this, this is still putting them to shame. This design was so perfect. It's almost, um, you know, you could say like it was created by the gods. I mean, this is truly an amazing knife right here. For value, it shouldn't be any shocker whatsoever that this also gets a 5 out of 5 because, like I said in the very beginning, you are getting every penny worth of of your money out of this knife right here so we have a total score of 96 Actually, out of 100 97. making this the second highest scoring knife um, to be reviewed so far and I'm sorry about this horrible glare that we keep getting in here um, but 
instead of messing with the lights for hours I wanted to get this review done and show you guys why I love this knife so much so I hope you guys enjoyed this review as much as I did and if you have the opportunity to pick one of these up I highly recommend it I promise you you will not be disappointed this is a killer knife um, so yeah I love you guys thank you all for watching Jesus loves you stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.